It's a somber evening here in Colorado. One year since the tragic mass shooting at Club Q in Colorado Springs that took the lives of five people. And tonight we remember those five victims. Daniel Aston was a trans man and a bartender at Club Q. Kelly Loving, a transgender woman who had just moved to Colorado. Ashley Paw, who was a mother to her 11 year old daughter and a wife to her high school sweetheart. Derek Rump, who started out as a customer of Club Q and worked his way up to being their lead bartender. And Raymond Queen. Raymond Green Vance, whose mom described him as a bright kid who always kept his family laughing. A difficult day for those family members and the Colorado Springs community. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon was at a memorial ceremony where those in attendance promised to always remember what happened. Let us all be the light that drives out the darkness. It's been one year. And the love that drives out the hatred together. One year without a space that felt like a home. It simply was just a normal night. At Club Q. One year without five people. This building is a reminder of our greatest nights spent together, but also our most horrific night together. This community remembers. We owe it to those who died here and who suffered here. It feels like yesterday and five years ago all at the same time. Wyatt Kent, who was performing at Club Q on the night of the November mass shooting last year, says this is a day meant for love. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Look at these rhinestones. What are you doing, drag now? Yeah, yeah. Gosh! Love for the parents of the person he loved. I'm doing good. I'm glad you're here. Daniel Aston is their connection. Uh, we were supposed to speak today, so I just had to come up with something. Jeff Aston, Daniel's father, shared a poem he wrote for his son. You know, I could just feel him closer because I know he loved poetry and I think he would like that. What can I do now that you're gone? Now that you've moved to the great beyond? Words that resonate with everyone there. My bicycle wheel has lost its spokes. No one's around to laugh at my dad jokes. And that every parent can't help but feel. You lit up a room with your smile and your wit. You and Club Q made a good fit. But random bullets from an angry man took away all your dreams and plans. Now all that loved you must make a new start with your light to guide us within our hearts. A message to remember for the five people who will never be forgotten. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. Hmm. The dad joke line got me. The owner of Club Q announced today that the plans for the memorial have been approved. It will sit outside of Club Q and is meant to honor the five people who were killed. Now the building will be vacant and serve as a somber reminder. Club Q management plan on opening a new LGBTQ plus space inside of the satellite hotel called the Q.